Hello and welcome to Hockey Zone. This week we're doing something a little bit different and we're looking into hockey within the media. So we're going to catch up with a few of the people who are behind presenting Brisbane hockey in the media. And the first person is Isaac Nunn. Uh, so I run the Brisbane Hockey Instagram and Twitter accounts. Uh, we created them about a year ago, uh, mainly out of a, I guess, a desire to have the scores from other games. So when we're out at the grounds, found it very difficult to get uh, to know what the other scores might have been uh, without waiting for a few days until the next uh, website update. Uh, with Twitter, we can find that out straight away as soon as the scores come to hand. Uh, we can tweet them out and, and people can follow along and, and track where uh, they might be sitting on the ladder as a result. The results come in through a variety of ways. Uh, with the uh, Brisbane Hockey Association, uh, there's a system in place where uh, SMSs are sent out after each game uh, and those SMSs are received by a number of different people in order to update the scores uh, on social media, on the websites, uh, on the Brisbane Hockey uh, Facebook page. Uh, we also get scores from uh, other Twitter users, uh, so they might be at the game themselves and contribute it. Uh, maybe they're sending a message via Facebook as well. So there's a variety of different ways that we can get hold of those scores, and as soon as they come to hand, we can then share them uh, on Twitter or out to the to the audience. Instagram uh, has actually been very popular. We we created that as more of an afterthought, uh, just as a way to, I guess, have a have an opportunity to share some of the images, and uh, particularly amongst the younger audience, it's definitely been far more popular. Um, we're, it's been a great way for us to showcase some of the uh, photos that are being taken by, uh, I guess experienced and professional photographers such as Husted Images and Hockey Photos Brisbane uh, but also we're finding that a lot of the players and clubs are actually taking photos uh, on game days out at the grounds and uh, by having the Brisbane Hockey Instagram account we can uh, I guess repost a lot of those photos to uh, show uh, the audience what's happening around the grounds uh, to showcase the game of hockey in Brisbane and to hopefully maybe attract some more players. So with Instagram and Twitter there are a number of ways that we can I guess moderate and police content, uh, mainly from the commenting side. Um, thankfully, we haven't had to deal uh, with any issues so far, which has been great. Uh, if we have to, though, uh, there's obviously the tools in place to be able to remove um, inappropriate content, uh, clean up comments, that sort of thing. So I think the benefits uh, have mainly been as a way of, I guess, communication. Uh, so we're able to, uh, I guess, let not only the Brisbane hockey community, but the, the broader hockey community know about the great things that are going on in Brisbane hockey. Uh, we've been able to, as I said, set up a facility to broadcast scores in a very timely fashion. Uh, so again, getting towards the business end of the season, that's very important as, as clubs and teams are wanting to know what's happening in other games and whether they're going to make the finals. Um, we've done some really great things in terms of sharing uh, a lot of the other content that's being produced in, in Brisbane hockey. So things like the local news stories, um, the videos that Hockey Zone itself are, are, are creating each week. Um, again, the, the photos that are being uh, taken every week around the grounds. Um, last year we did a, a live commentary of, the, of both of the Div 1 uh, finals from the State Hockey Centre, uh, which seemed to be very popular. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to do that again this year. So there has been a lot of benefits from an association point of view. Uh, from a club point of view, um, we are seeing more clubs get into social media, which has been fantastic. So we're able to see what the clubs have been up to, um, what's happening in, at their different events. Uh, you know, it's been a, just a great way to, I guess, stay in touch with the broader Brisbane hockey community and, uh, you know, gain, I guess, more followers for everyone. So on Twitter and Instagram, it's at Brisbane underscore hockey. Uh, so tag the account in when you're, when you're making your posts and don't forget the hashtag Briz Hockey. So that's B-R-I-S hockey. Next up is the man behind the photographs, Fred Husted. Uh, yeah, I go back, uh, go back a long way. It, the, uh, the family's very much a hockey family. My parents created the Balimba Women's Hockey Club uh, back in the 70s. I started playing when I was about 10 years of age. Uh, I'm 56 now, so I've been playing for quite a while. Had the, uh, had the good fortune of uh, representing the state back in the, in the mid 80s and played with some of the, some of the genuine greats of the game. Uh, Wayne Hammonds, Barry Dancer, Greg Browning and the lights, so I've been a very lucky boy that way. I actually didn't even know what hockey was when I, as, a, as a youngster. Hockey wasn't, wasn't a part of my life and, until a, a friend at school introduced me to the game. And it wasn't until then that I discovered that mum was a, a, a national. She was a, a national um, player for Scotland. 
So, so hockey's in the blood uh, from a long way back, yeah. I've always had an interest in um, finding an artistic outlet of some sort and photography popped up 10, 12 years ago really um, as, the, as my outlet uh, for, in an artistic world. The fact that I know this going back to front really helped, uh, help, helped me to shoot hockey. So as I progressed with, um, with uh, coming to terms with shooting sports, I met a fellow called Lee Oliver. Who, um, who does a lot of media work for uh, the Brisbane Hockey Association and I, I, he, I didn't know who he was and he was writing stories for the papers and I offered him my photographs for his stories. So that was um, probably five years ago now, I think. Primarily, I, I shoot first division games. They're the, they're the games with the stars, uh, the stars of today and, and then you know some of the stars of tomorrow coming through and they're by far the most exciting games and, and they're the games generally people want to see um, en masse. So if, uh, if they want to look at hockey photographs, they want to see the great players and they want to see the very high-end skills. So they're the games that I concentrate on. I do occasionally shoot lower division games. I do shoot um, veterans games, uh, masters games at some stage. But uh, primarily it's, uh, it's the first division games that most people want to see. I have a uh, Facebook page, uh, Husted Images is the name of the company. And I also have a website called hustedimages.com. They can buy photographs straight from the site and there's probably two years of photographs sitting there. The other thing is I can be, I can be hired to shoot people's portfolios. So I've done um, a number of packages for particularly the uh, hockey manufacturers. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm probably more a travel photographer than I am a sports photographer. I shoot hockey because I love it and I know the game, and not many photographers do know how to shoot, shoot hockey. Um, but I travel a lot. My wife and I travel overseas a great, uh, quite a bit, and um, my travel photographs are the, the thing I do for the love of it. Uh, for an A4, for a sports photo, the, 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 typically the things out here, they're about the $20, $25 mark for about an A4 size photograph. If they only want a grab shot, if they only want a photograph for their website, they're, uh, you know, they're cheap as chips, they can, um, they can buy those too, uh, with or without my watermark on the, on the, on the picture itself. So please uh, visit hustedimages.com if you're interested in those photos. The longest running part of Brisbane hockey social media would be the Facebook account. And that's run by Lee Oliver. Well that all started about 2008 I think it was. I just thought, well nobody else is doing this. It's, a, it's an emerging media strand that was becoming really popular. Um, and I just thought that uh, it was a great way to get stories about hockey to the community. Uh, build and uh, I suppose strengthen the, the hockey community in Brisbane. And also a, a way to maintain links with past people who used to be part of the Brisbane hockey fraternity. I mean, people that are following Brisbane hockey, leaving places like Sweden or, or Canada or New Zealand. And, um, you know, they, they want to know uh, what's happening in the local Brisbane scene, whether it be the, the A-grade results or seeing how past players are going. And, um, yeah, it's, it's a good sounding board and discussion board for, for people who have issues as well. Um, and that's the beauty of social media. Uh, mainstream news media basically shut its shut its doors to hockey uh, quite some time ago and while we get support from the community newspapers um, on a, a sort of far we reaching level um, in the Courier Mail, uh, there's nothing happening there for us. So, um, well I was a Facebook novice as many people were or are, so when I set it up I set up the page as a, as a personal page. But I think lately Facebook um, has been you know, going through the, uh, through the different profiles and realising that um, it should have been set up as an organisation page. So it basically means that um, the page is basically starting from scratch. It's been set up as a sports league uh, page rather than a personal page. Uh, this means unfortunately a lot of the old, or well, mostly all the old content's been lost. But, um, and also the way I can communicate with players has been diminished a bit because Facebook's a great tool to, and a, and a cheap way to, to converse with players whether it's finding out who scored the goal for their team on the weekend or you know, finding out contact details and letting them know, hey, this newspaper wants to get in touch with you. Um, unfortunately now, I don't think there's a way I can communicate with the players directly. But um, so I've set up another uh, Facebook profile called Lee Hockey. And uh, that's the way I'll be communicating with players directly via Facebook. So um, if I send a friend request, please say yes, please. But I think um, people who maybe don't see the merit in the pages or don't want to contribute or are reluctant to, um, to, to lend their time, I think just have to think back you know, 10, 20 years ago, there was, there's no hockey um, outside of what you hear at the, at the ground, basically. 
Um, now we've got this worldwide tool, Facebook and the internet to use to get hockey out there, our hockey, Brisbane hockey out there. And um, I think people just need to backtrack and think, you know, we really were in the dark ages as far as the media went um, 10, 15, 20 years ago, but now we've got this opportunity to promote the game widely. Um, it's easily accessible for anyone uh, who's got the internet. And um, yeah, I'd say if you've got any ideas for hockey stories or you know someone who's achieved in hockey, uh, whether it be locally or abroad at any level, um, yeah, I think uh, you should be rewarded for your efforts. You know, you've, you've done well to, to attain your achievement, so why not let other people know about it? I know that the country centres and their media, whether it be Bundaberg or Cairns, they have fantastic coverage of local sports competitions and its players. Uh, in the print media, even on the TV news. And that's just something that's completely alien to, to Brisbane hockey. Uh, my background in hockey, like many people, I started in the sport through family and I've been playing with Norse Hockey Club for a little over 30 years now. Um, as a kid, I always remember reading the old Hockey Circle magazines and reading through the old uh, newspaper clippings that my mum had kept of my dad's A-grade career and really enjoyed reading that. and. Um, the work of writers like Keith Mapp who got hockey in the Courier Mail back in the day and but uh, I think at a point uh, when National League started bringing Brisbane teams in the competition like the Brisbane Bears AFL and the the Broncos in the league um, they basically shut the door on local sports in Brisbane it's very hard to get coverage and there's a woman called Selena Steele who was a hockey player and she wrote for the Courier Mail and got a bit of hockey in there in the 1990s but from the mid 90s yeah. on uh, hockey was all but um, obsolete as far as the, um, the mainstream media goes so I guess I sort of took it upon myself I have a real passion for hockey and I can string a few sentences together and sort of approached Kim Rendell from Brisbane Hockey and said I've got an idea to um, hopefully get some promotion for the sport and the competition so in 2005 I started doing some volunteer work with the Quest Community Newspapers just sending match reports and a little bit of information to those papers on a regular basis to help promote the teams and the competition and its players. And in 2007, started writing match reports and taking photos for the BHA website. So it's the ninth season I've been doing that now and it seems to be still popular with the players and, and supporters. For that, I, uh, well, I always wanted to be a journalist. Did an arts degree in university, which didn't lead anywhere and just worked at a, a supermarket for a while. And I uh, thought, um, uh, Better give uh, journalism a try, it's something I always wanted to do, don't die wondering. So I went back to uni as a mature age student and 2005 was when I was, I was finishing off that course and thought I can get some work experience, getting some stuff published in the local publications and also promote hockey at the same time. So uh, there's eight papers I um, supply hockey content for, uh, seven in Brisbane and one on the Gold Coast. Uh, that includes match reports and also just, um, I suppose being the liaison or the, the link man between the media and the Brisbane Hockey League and its players. Just getting good stories out there, whether it be a, a local kids made a Queensland junior team or older players in Australia's Masters teams, or even just player milestones. Uh, there's seven Brisbane publications that have uh, clubs within their catchment area, within their distribution area. So sort of tailor the story for each of those newspapers, depending on you know, their particular district. I don't have my ear to the ground as much as some people would probably have you believe. I'm often disappointed when I hear of a great achievement of a player and um, nobody's told me about it. <laughs> I really wish they did. Uh, but you know, I think people in general and hockey players too are a bit hesitant to sort of talk themselves up. I think it's probably only the parents of hockey players that'll ever approach a newspaper and say, hey, I've got a story for you. My kid's done this wonderful thing in hockey. But um, yeah, it's just with uh, chatting with people, um, seeing what they're up to on, on Facebook. A lot of hockey players are really proud of their hockey achievements and, um, and we'll put that on Facebook, you know, if they've made a, a state team or an Australian team or, or done something special. I just see my role as getting that information to a wider audience and um, hopefully getting more people interested in the sport in the process. But, uh, you know, back nine years ago when I started doing the match reports, I was pretty much for, for three or four years coming out to the hockey every Saturday afternoon. I was taking the photos and um, writing match reports, um, much to my wife's dismay at times, um, but I figured I was uh, 
doing good for the sport, so I was pretty dedicated to it. And um, people realised that my contribution to the sport was worthy enough to award me the uh, Volunteer of the Year award for Hockey Queensland back in 2010. So that really made it all worthwhile, and um, it's it's uh, pretty gratifying to to open up those papers and see the the pictures and the stories of local hockey and um, you know the gratitude of the players too. Um, I always remember winning that award, the Volunteer of the Year in 2010 and uh, Stephen Lambert, the former Australian um, Kookaburra's goalkeeper, came up to me and said congratulations, that's well deserved and I was just astonished A that he knew who I was and B that he um, felt what I was doing was, um, was worthwhile so I was really chuffed about that so um, to see a player of his calibre really appreciate the work I was trying to do was really heartening for me.